Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have part one of the Creative Crafting World haul. So let's jump into it. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today I have a part one of a recent craft haul that I picked up. Now, I have been trying not to spend too much money and I think, to be honest, I'm going to take August off of buying anything. I think I'm going to have a no-spend month. Um, but my mother-in-law does a little bit of crafting as well and she wanted some uh advice she wanted to know where she could pick up some craft things and i went to send her the links to a couple of websites that i use and one of those was creative crafting world and as i clicked on the website to send her the link it popped up that they had some special offers on and you know me don't really like to pay full price for anything if I don't have to. So when I see a special offer, I have to pick it up. Now, I don't know if the special offer is still running. This was ordered, I think it was on a Thursday. It's arrived today, which is the Monday. So pretty quick shipping. Um, but essentially, they had two Lucky 13s. Um, one was 13 mixed dies, and it could be anything from the Paper Boutique die sets. 30 pounds and they had 13 8 by 8 paper packs between paper boutique and paper tree you couldn't pick what you were getting just a random 13 for 15 pounds and i thought that was a pretty good bargain so i placed an order now i have opened it purely to just undo the packaging because it was very well packaged which i really appreciate i thought we'd take a look at the dies this time um, and then I'll do the paper pads on a separate video later just because there are 13 of them and it can take some time to flick through those paper pads. So let's get into it. Now it was free delivery so I only paid the £45 for these and it was some really big savings on that. Um, the die set was savings of over £200 and I think the paper pack was something like over £100. So there's definitely some big savings to be had. I can drop you a link in the description box to their website so that you can go and have a look. They've regularly got lots of special offers on. Um, so even if that isn't running, it's definitely worth checking out. I'm going to move that box. It's quite heavy. And we'll go through that another day. Need somewhere to put it. That should be fine. So it was 13 mixed die packs. You couldn't pick. It just said that they were part of the Paper Boutique collection. What I will say, and it does tell you this on the website, but I'm just going to reiterate, the packs that they have up, they've kind of pre-made them so that they know how many they have. It did tell you that although you can buy multiples, some of the packs are completely identical so they can't guarantee that if you order say two three four packs that you will get all different dies you may end up with four packs exactly the same um i certainly wasn't willing to risk it on the die perspective in my eyes once i've got a die i don't need it again um but if you want to take that risk, then please feel free to do so. Paper pads, I don't mind too much because even if I get duplicates, I can use them anyway. But I did just want to buy one of each to see if they were really good value. So let's get into it. I've got 13 packs. So this first pack is called Daisy and Leafs. And there are 12 individual dies on here. So we have the daisy petals, we've got three different sizes of the leaves, and then we've got three different sizes of the inside, the middle. Oh, that's good. It does actually tell you on the back the sizes, which is great. Now, these do all appear to be just on cardboard backing. So um, I would probably be tempted to buy some... 
like magnetic sheets just so that I can keep these all together but for just over two pound each I think that's really good this is a make-a-wish individual nested dies so that's quite pretty look so you've got your back your topper with your um design on you've then got your center your shadowing and your actual sentiment and the nice thing about these is because they are individual you can just use that sentiment or you can use this backing plate and add in a different sentiment if you want so that's really cool and i will say i don't currently have any paper booty dies so until i try these i don't know what the quality is like again it was another reason why i was willing to risk taking it because i know i don't have any paper booty dies um plenty of their paper pads but not the dies so this one is a congratulations one so again you have your five dies including the sentiment and the shadowing this one is on your special day so again same setup but it's really nice actually that we've got some different shapes here not just round ones but again you can absolutely mix and match these that centerpiece there is big enough for you to use lots of different sentiments on there um especially for you really like that rose detail now i think within the packs i'm hoping that this is the case um you don't get duplicates within the packs it's only if you buy multiple packs you run the risk of getting duplicates um, so this is the sentiment dies this is volume four so you get your shadow in and you get your sentiments and this one has more than words can say always and forever a day to remember and happy anniversary <clears throat> these ones will fit through my sizzix side kick so really happy to get those then i have sentiments volume one and on that one, we have Thinking of You, With Love, Best Wishes, and Just Because. They're great little sentiments. We have a set of bows. So we have four of the uh, bow loops and two of the um, tails. So they're quite pretty. We have another Dester die, and this is You Are In My Thoughts. Again, really pretty we have another sentiments we have volume five and this one has you are in my thoughts live laugh love it's your birthday and congratulations another nested die and this one it's time to celebrate so again same setup five dies in that pack We have Happy Birthday, Nest of Dies again. These are beautiful. I hope that these um, cut as nicely as they look. And then we have another Nest of Dies and this one is the Just For You one. I really like these. These bigger ones, I'm going to have to get one of my bigger um, die cutting machines out. I'm hoping that I don't need to get my Toddo out and I can just use them on my Big Shot. Um, but if that doesn't work, then you know what? We'll live. Um, it's quite a short video. So I think what I'm going to do is test out one of these while you guys are here and joining us i'm going to use one of these purely because i think these will fit in my sizzix psychic and saves me getting it out getting out anything bigger so let's have a look i think just because it's at the bottom we will grab sorry for the noise this congratulations done now what I do like about these is I don't need to cut around them. There's no silly little notches that you get sometimes. Um, they are literally just already individual. Pop that over there. Now let's have a look what we've got. Might as well use some of my scrap pieces. So 
This is a scrap piece from a card I made a few days ago, I think now. So that will fit nicely on there. And then if we go for this Miri board. So I'm going to bring in my Sizzix Sidekick. For anybody who hasn't seen this, it's a dinky little sidekick. I absolutely love it for small projects like this. It saves me having to get my big, big shot or my Toddo out. Um, fits nicely on my desk and yeah, just absolutely perfect. Definitely worth a look if you do a lot of smaller projects. To take off my hunky-dory tape. Now I've seen people sandwich their dies differently. I find it easier when using my die machine, die cutting machine to put my um, cardstock or paper stock down than I put my die on top. Then using this hunky dory low tack tape and I do reuse it until it stops being sticky because nobody wants lots of waste. And I just find that easier for me to be able to position it. I know some people do it the other way, but I don't think I would be able to position it very well. So let's see how well that's die cut. This is some really cheap Miri card. It's not my normal hunky-dory stuff. One, one pass and that has cut that out beautifully. So then I'm going to take this. This is just some of that range pastel uh, textured cardstock that I've been using a lot of my projects Pop that through. So again, I've just done a single pass, so let's see how this works, if it works. That's cut straight out. Now, where's my pokey tool gone? I'm not sure, but the ends of this will do the same job. Work my way through the dots. This should one, release the dye and two, should help poke out some of the excess that we don't need. Is that all gone? Yep. That looks beautiful. And then glue that into position. I have got one of the uh, craft glue pens. Not used it in a while, actually. See if we can add. Oh, oh dear. Uh, just put it on the back of my hand for now. Put a very small amount on. This is probably still enough to squish out, but. Dot it along. This is only really to show you guys how those dies have worked anyway. That piece. Stick that down. There we go. So the glue is squished out, which doesn't make it look overly pretty, but. Oh dear me, bless me, apologies. But it does show you what that die would look like. Um, I think that's beautiful. That cut really nicely to say I'm using very cheap cardstock, certainly that on the um, silver. That is just perfect. 
really like those they cut out so easily and for that price they're an absolute bargain so i would definitely go and have a look especially if you either haven't got any of their dyes already or maybe you just aren't bothered um if you end up with duplicates because they were so such good price um but that is all i had to show you today i will film part two and post that up as soon as i can um Thank you so much for joining me today. If you've really enjoyed that, then please do hit that subscribe button, press that like and hit that notification bell as well. Um, every time you do that to a channel, it really helps them to grow. And that is what we really want to do here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are joining in and watching the July craft challenge. Um, but thank you so much and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.